Hi everyone, Daniel here. Welcome back to another video about Microsoft Intune. And in this video, we're gonna go through how to create custom roles within Intune, where we can apply specific permissions to specific users uh, to take specific actions within the portal, such as reading devices, creating reports, editing, and what's quite common is preventing people from deleting configurations or devices or wiping devices in the portal. So we're going to start off in the Intune Admin Center or the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center, which will soon be renamed at endpoint.microsoft.com. And we're going to head down to Tenant Administration and we're going to select Roles. So we can see some built-in roles here. And just to dive into one of these built-in roles to see what it looks like, uh, let's select Read Only Operator here. We can select Properties and we can see exactly what permissions users who will be assigned this role will receive. So just for example, um, they'll be able to read derived uh, credentials, they'll be able to read uh, managed devices and view reports, etc. Um, and then from the assignment tab, we would create an assignment to assign a user to this role. Now this is a built in role. We can also create custom roles, which is what this video is about. So we have a few custom roles here. But let's take you through creating a custom role and assigning it to a specific user. So I'm going to click create and I'm going to create a role and name it. So I read role two, click next. And let's have a look at what we want to do. Let's go device configurations, read, and just simply click next. We're going to skip over the scope tags and then we're going to hit create. What we've done here is we've created a role, called it my read only role two. In the properties, we've created, uh, added a permission, which is just the, the read action on device configurations. You can add more in here once you've already created the role. There's quite a lot to choose from. It may take some time to get the role perfect following the kind of rule of least privilege, especially when you're dealing with non-admin users and giving them access to an admin resource. But make sure you spend some time to get this right and then you can start assigning it to users. So I want to assign my new role I've created to a specific user. So I select it from the list and come down to assignments and click assign. And what you do, you have to create a role assignment to do this. You can create multiple role assignments for a single role, depending on which users need access to which specific resources, they were only dealing with specific groups of devices, for example. So we're going to create a role assignment and I'm going to, just going to call it the name of my fictitious user we're going to look at or test with in this video called Adele V. Next. Now you can only target groups with role assignments. So if you want to only target a single user, you need to create a group and you need to just include that one user to that group. But then if you want uh, more users added to this role assignment, you can simply add them to that group and have a, a process you work through to do that. So I'm going to select approval admins because I know that just includes Dell and I'm going to click next. And here I define which resources this role assignment um, relates to or, or targets. And because I'm targeting compliance policies, I'm simply just going to tick all devices and click next. I'm going to skip over our scope tags and then click create. So now we can see if we go back to all roles, select our role, select, we can see which permissions the role has um, as part of it, and we can see which role assignments are assigned to this role. So in this case, I've I created one earlier called my uh, called uh, my read only role for Adele. What this role does, it gives her read, update, and create access to device configurations. And we'll just test that experience with Adele. So on my other page here, I'm logged in as Adele V, as you can see at the top right, straight into the Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Now, as you're browsing through the Admin Center, if she only has specific <coughs> excuse me, roles assigned, you may get some errors. So, I'm going to start by clicking devices. 
And because I don't have access to see a lot of this information on, on the page, getting some errors. Now, if I want to test the permissions that I've assigned her, in this case, I'm going to come down to configuration profiles. And I'm going to try and edit one of the existing profiles. So I'm going to select this one here, rename Windows Home Device. I'm going to go to our configuration settings and click edit. And I'm going to edit my custom OMA URI setting, change the value slightly. As you can see, I've saved the change and it's been successful. But what Adele can't do is she can't delete the configuration profile. So I'm going to try and delete it now. Hit delete. And it won't immediately throw an error. This may take quite a while to complete or attempt to complete. But fundamentally, she won't be able to delete the profile. It will just spin here for quite a while, maybe forever. It might take a little bit of time. You can see here I tested this earlier. It took about, it's still going nine minutes ago. So it does take a little bit of time. But that's how you create role assignments. So you can assign fine grained actions or permissions to specific users in Intune uh, to perform specific actions against specific devices, especially when they're non-admin users, you may want to limit their permissions. But that's it. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.